This is Dave with Webhead Group TV, and I'm speaking with Jaime today. Hey, Jaime, how are you doing? Good, doing good. Very good. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about Hogwild Records? Well, we've been in existence for about 29 years. Uh, next year, April, we'll be 30. And uh, the owner started off with a table at a flea market, and eventually moved into here, and at the time carried mainly a lot of vinyl, uh, a small section of the sets. And then expanded, and now we have a lot of stuff here from, you know, of course, CDs, vinyl still, sure. posters, DVDs, all that, but um, been a pretty good underground staple around the scene as for like uh, all types of music of that underground goes for the place you come through to find out. At times, you know, any show, there's local groups coming in saying, like, hey, can I put my stuff here? You know, and, and you know, we just, you know, Cool. Got all kinds of uh, employees here with all kinds of knowledge of music. Excellent. So, which is really cool. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Um, and uh, I noticed y'all have a MySpace page. Yes. Uh, how's that worked out for your business? Has it, has it affected your business, your customers? Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, there's, we've gotten uh, people from either uh, out of town that have uh, And they've uh, you know, requested and asked us, hey, can you find this or that, and order it from them. Or if not, it's even just people who locally who will uh, send us messages about like, hey, um, um, are you going to need to have this come uh, New Year's Day, or if um, you know you can order me this too, you know, which is really cool. So it's helped us, and it's a great networking uh, uh, for us as for like talking with different, uh, you know, just people online. So. Yeah, social network. Cool. Well, um, in recent years, illegal downloading is becoming increasingly popular and iTunes on my purchases. Yeah. Um, does that affect your business here? Yes, it, it, it has to a certain point. But what's kind of been cool at times is uh, certain artists will put out their vinyl but would, you know, code for a digital download, which is okay, you know, but it, it, you know, overall, I mean, yes, a lot of the downloading has. Sure. Because people are just taking the particular songs they only want. Yeah. They're not coming in and actually buying the physical album or CDs and getting everything. Everything. You know, which kind of, you know, it, it does, uh, you know, bother some, some of us to hear, like if someone finds something, the buddies are like, hey man, we'll bring me a copy. And we're like, depending on our mood, sometimes we're like, hang on. Right. You know, and sometimes even the guy, the customer has been like, dude, why don't you just buy one of your stuff? Sure. So it's been, but you know, it, I don't know, I mean, the record industry is the one that's going to have to really, I think, come down on, you know, preventing people from downloading. Okay. You know, but, you know, I, I don't know. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, also, y'all recently participated in a uh, National Record Day store yeah. event. Uh, how did that go? That was really good. That was really awesome. There was a, a lot of the different labels sent stuff to give away, or uh, one was a record, like, really nice record, double LP, different artists. But it's like for fifty dollars or more. I purchased it, got it free. But there was also certain things that only came out on that day that was shipped to us too. There was like an MC5, uh, the Stooges, there was a Slayer seven inch, all forty fives that were just you know issued that day and limited also. And business was awesome. I mean, you know, it was amazing. It was, it was fun. Yeah. Also, awesome. really fun for us. I mean, just because it, it, we got a chance to celebrate, you know, us, the record store. Yeah, that's and, you great. Know, the little. The little guy, you know, just having fun. Yeah. You know, which should be all around. You know. Yeah, but it's awesome. It's great. I mean, Very good. I'm really looking forward to next year also. I mean, next year, we really want to try to do a little bit more to even uh, close maybe the parking lot over here on the side of us and have uh, some DJs and maybe you know, one light band play and just, you know. Put a yeah, yeah, just have fun with, you know, with our customers. You know? Excellent. And because a lot of our customers are awesome, so that's, that's the big part. Very cool. Thank you. Very cool. Okay. Um, anything else you can tell us interesting about Hogwild Records? No, I mean, other than, I mean, you know, we just, uh, it's, you know, we've been surviving. There's been a few other, like, smaller local uh, record stores that have opened and have kind of, you know, they've gone away because, you know, um, business has hurt for them as much as us, but luckily we've had uh, loyalty from customers, like from regular ones that have been shopping here with us 20 plus years. And this is, you know, where they're like, they'd rather come here to us. Sure. I mean, that's, I think, that's a big part of the loyalty base of uh, our customers. And, I mean, other than that, I mean, I, I, I've been here 10 years, and I just, 
It doesn't feel like ten years. I mean, it's a job of uh, labor of love that I just right. You love interacting with people. You know, because you learn stuff from them. They learn stuff from them. It's always fun. And just, I mean, you know, other than that, I'm like, hey, you know, support your local music. And just, you know, independent stores. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much, Jaime. Uh, this has been Dave with Webhead Group. Uh, come check out Hogwild Records. They're open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday and noon through 8 on Sunday. And uh, you can come and check out CDs, vinyl, and tape here. And thank you very much. This has been Dave with Webhead, Webhead Group TV.